we first got uh, involved with the film um, about a year and a half ago, and um, a friend of mine called Toby Jepson introduced me to Lionel, um, who came to the studio to see his recording. Um, and they picked two songs, really. Uh, Norris for the Wicked and a song called When Doomsday Comes. Um, so, yeah, it went from there, really. The difference between this track on the film and the one on the album, uh, I mean the one on the film is shorter, obviously, um, and I did change the lyrics slightly uh, on different verses for it, but um, yeah, I mean I just kept sending uh, different versions to, to, the, to, the, to the producer really, and they kept saying yes or no, but it wasn't really that difficult, you know, the, the basic song was there because obviously I read the script, so I knew you know, although this script has changed at least four times, it's still the same as far as the alien hybrid thing goes. You know? So I think the vocals still fit the lyrics. We've had songs on films before, usually Italian horror films, but uh, this is the first time we've had a, a, a song uh, that's being sort of written specifically for a film and put on the end of a film. We have had songs in films before and adverts and things, but um, generally we are trying to uh, to move more into film uh, film work. We would have liked to have done the soundtrack, but it didn't really work out for this film. We came on in the production process from early on, actually, from the original script. I, I think, you know, they hadn't even cast the actors at that point, so we knew about the film quite early on. Um, and I think a lot, a few other films got done before this one, which is what happens in film. Um, so yeah, it was quite exciting for us, really, to be involved with the film for the first time, especially a British film. You know, being a British band, it makes a big difference to us. As far as the, the film goes, my involvement in it, I obviously wasn't involved in anything uh, uh, with, the, with the acting or anything or the writing, but I went to the, uh, 
to the set in Yorkshire a couple of times, and it was really cold. I think the I think the the, set, the film set where the film was put was absolutely fantastic for the film, and it was really cold. Um, so you know, when everybody looks cold, it is actually really cold. A lot of snow on the ground, and uh, you know, some fantastic players, big old factory uh, up there in Huddersfield, in Huddersfield. Actually, it's only four miles from where I was born, so you know, I knew the place. I didn't actually work there as a teenager, but I worked in a place similar to that as a teenager. But the whole setting was great for, for the film. I knew uh, about Saxon through Lionel. I knew that Lionel was friends with Biff and uh, that they'd written a song for the older version of it. Um, and when we got to post, Lionel asked me about using them, the song, and I thought, well, they've written it and it's a great song, so absolutely. And the composer, Adrian Johnson, had done this wonderful uh, climax score, a very melodramatic, huge piece, which worked really well. And I was concerned that they mightn't match, you know, going from this uh, strings kind of piece to uh, heavy metal, but it did work very well actually in the way we, we mixed it together. So yeah, it's great. It was, I had a real smile on my face when the credits came up and all that on it. It's kind of fun, you know. There's a kind of cult classic about the whole film, I think, so that works quite well. Can you hear me? No Rest for the Wicked. I wrote the lyrics specifically from the script. I just thought No Rest for the Wicked was a bit of a sort of uh, a bit of a tongue-in-cheek title, really. So um, yeah, so so the lyrics basically refer to you know, um, you know him being the destroyer and the and the, the sort of uh, you know beginning of a new race of, of sort of hybrids. So I think the song that's basically what it is, really. Um, 
you know, the, the wicked elements of it could be the uh, could be the uh, scientist who did it, or it could be the alien. One doesn't know yet. Maybe in the second film, <laughs> we'll be able to tell you. Yeah, yeah, it's the next